This week in drone news, we have three stories for you. Amazon and other drone companies are laying off, this is a sad news. A follow-up on a crash that happened between a drone and a Cessna 172, there's more information that came out. And an Airbus is looking for partners on the Zephyr project. We talked about that in the past as well, so let's get to it. Your first story this week isn't a great one, unfortunately. Uh, we've seen at least four companies in the last few weeks that have initiated layoffs, including Amazon, American Robotics, DroneUp, and also Inspired Flights. Uh, of these, both Amazon and American Robotics have actually laid off over half of their workforce, uh, Amazon letting go 80%, and then American Robotics reducing by 60%. Now, I, I do want to mention this is not uh, all of Amazon, even though all of Amaz Amazon was uh, hit with layoffs, uh, that that 80% is in the uh, the drone branch, Amazon Air, that had to deal with uh, drone delivery packages. Now, according to Drone Excel article, uh, the Amazon layoffs were based not on merit of employees, but rather based on salary. Uh, additionally, employees were given no warning. Uh, some of the layoffs occurred at uh, all Amazon uh, Prime Air drone locations. Now, this comes after a few weeks after Amazon began deliveries in Texas and in California. Now, I'm actually wondering if this reduction in force is actually just another hurdle, or if this means that uh, we're gonna see the end of this 10-year-old uh, uh, delivery package uh, business that Amazon has put on. No, we'll see. Your second story this week is a follow-up to a police drone that collided with a Cessna 172 in August of 2021. That happened in Canada. Uh, the drone was launched in the middle of a police chase of an armed suspect. Uh, according to the report, the pilot seemed to have lost situational awareness and ended up in the approach path of an airport, 400 feet. Not a good thing. Uh, the instructor and the student that were in the airplane thought that they actually hit a bird and then they landed normally. Uh, they only realized the extent of the damage once they arrive on the ramp. Now, the report also mentions that uh, the task saturation of the pilot was a little bit too high, which is one of the cause of the crash. Uh, a bad thing here, the spotter was reportedly not trained and also didn't know that they had to maintain visual line of sight with the aircraft. That's a bad thing. Now, the police force has told us that since they have rewritten the procedures, uh, including training all of their VOs. That's a good thing. Your third story this week is the Zephyr drone. Uh, this is, uh, we talked about this in the past. This is made by Airbus. Uh, it flew for 64 days over the desert of uh, Arizona, right here in our backyard. Uh, ended up uh, crashing and after 64 days, which is absolutely amazing. Now, this is not a small drone. We're talking about something uh, extremely large here. Uh, Airbus is now looking for partners and investors for the project, uh, which will be created under what they call a company called uh, Alto with two A's. Uh, Airbus will maintain ownership of Alto uh, but they will consider it outside investment in order to assist with uh, making sure the project accelerates uh, a little bit faster. Now, according to Airbus, the design is in the final stages and uh, will soon go into production. Uh, Zephyr is a very high altitude, uh, long endurance, I would say long endurance is a good term here, a platform that's designed for a communications relay and also to do some kind of surveillance. Now, the cool thing about this aircraft is actually it uses solar panels and batteries in order to stay up uh, that long up in the air. So so uh, we'll let you know if we actually hear some more about Zephyr. All right, that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, and then we'll see you next week. I didn't even mess up today. Oh, let me let me do that again. Actually, I'll do that. Your first story this week. Your first story this week. Your first story this week. Hey, Greg, what's the first story this week? Your first story this week. Let's do that again. Ah. You said no. I didn't even mess up today. With a lie detector determined. Um, that was a lie. Yeah!